Hi, I'm Zachary Funnell. Thank you for joining me for an emergency update of your Timberland weather forecast. Well, right now there is a storm heading our way. It's pretty uncertain what this will do exactly, but we do have a better picture of what we may be looking at for snowfall totals than we did last week. Right now, the National Weather Service has begun putting out some alerts across our area. You can see south of our area, through Boston, through much of Connecticut, Rhode Island, even down to the Cape and into New York, we're seeing those winter storm warnings impacting much of the area. For us, just north of the mass border, we are seeing winter storm watches. So we're not 100% sure on these snow totals right now. We're still definitely in a flux and we'll see which way they flop overall. Now, Today, the temperatures, you'd expect it not to be a snowstorm with how it's looking outside right now. Much of the area looking into the mid 40s and right now, those temperatures are just finally beginning to drop. You can see some of that colder air a little bit to the north, but not a whole lot of freezing Arctic air that you'd expect in front of a snowstorm like this. And tomorrow, we finally see the cool off. These are forecasted temperatures from the National Weather Service right now. Tomorrow, look at that, the high just barely reaching freezing and in towards the coastal regions, probably a little bit over. So you can see the overnight temperature drop is going to come in hard and it's going to come in quick. So expect that to come very quickly overnight as we look towards snow tomorrow. On the satellite, you can see this thing spinning up already. It is expected to move into our area. It's already producing a fair amount of rain. You can begin to see that on the front's map down south. This is our low pressure system. It's not too large, it's not too defined right now, but this broad area of rain across the south is generally going to cause some issues for some travel in that area. Nothing too terrible until it reaches our area and more towards New England where we begin to see the snowfall totals come down. Right now, there's a couple different variations to, depending on who you ask on how much snow we may be getting. So let's take a look at some of those. This is a really, really low end one. This storm wants it to move all the way to the south. Way down south means not a whole lot of snow, not even for Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, nothing. For us, we may get a trace, maybe an inch, in towards Boston, closer to those three to five you'd ex be expecting for our area. But don't worry, this is not the most realistic forecast. Something more realistic would look something like this. You see more towards a foot in towards Rhode Island, Connecticut, Parts of Massachusetts may be looking towards seven inches in an hour area. It's looking at about three to five, so maybe towards four inches, maybe five inches if you're down south towards that mass border, but all the way up in the Chester line, all the way up in Sandown and Danville, those areas may be looking closer to three. So this storm is definitely gonna depend on where exactly you are in the district, but snow lovers, don't worry, there is still hope. Some of those really quick, refreshing models have picked up on something recently that wanted to track north again. So this is one model. This is another one. Both of these bring more towards the double digits inches of snow for our area. And again, that foot of snow moves from Providence, Rhode Island up towards Worcester and probably a solid seven to eight, even nine inches towards our area. So look out towards the next couple days. This storm will be moving in tonight it will begin tomorrow morning. Look out, maybe when you're waking up, the flakes won't be flying. By the time the buses begin to roll and your cars begin to move into school, the snow will definitely be coming down. So look out for that. And even when we get out of school tomorrow, the snow will still be coming down. So coming in and out of school, in and out of work, be careful on those travel hazards. The wind will be gusting pretty severely around the coast. And as we move in towards the coastal regions, we may even see some minor flooding. So Depending on who you want to believe, where you want the most snow to come down, you may be hoping for closer to three inches, closer to seven. Most reasonable forecast, probably somewhere between four to five inches if you're up into sand down, or closer to the three to four, and if you're in towards Plastow, maybe you might be able to get a half of a foot. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Zachary Farnell for our first ever edition, special coverage of a winter storm here on Timberland Weather Update. Thank you very much and stay safe.